All right, Shalom. I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I'd like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War, back at you again with another lesson. Uh, as always, may the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, you know, allow me to edify those of the hopeful elect. All right. And um, with that being said, he that got ears to hear, let him hear. Now, this is a video I came across, um, <clears throat> which uh, the title is Next Level Surveillance. China Embraces Facial Recognition. All right. So this is going on in China, which is China's way more advanced than here, America, you know, Babylon. All right. And uh, China believes, you know, they're the next kingdom that's going to be glorious and you know a new king dynasty you know this thing that they think they up next but you know you you gooks you know you sadly uh been mis mistaken you know because you know the next up to rule this world you know is jacob you know the scriptures tell us in second edges six six and uh six chapter it talks about how Jacob was up next to rule after Esau fall and uh, pertaining to Job 9 and 24 the scriptures say the earth is given into the hand of the wicked alright and it says uh, uh, if not where and who is he so we know who's the wicked and we know who you know who's the wicked is which is Esau Esau Edom you know he's being revealed in his time alright and um, looking at this video just brings more reality you know, to the fact that these Edomites here in Babylon, okay, here in America and around the world, their plan, all right, is to RFID microchip everyone. Now, this video deals with recognition, all right, but it all goes hand in hand. It's biometrics. Biometrics is a, uh, you know, it's, it's facial recognition, iris scanning, uh, RFID microchip in, embedded in your skin. You know, all this stuff plays together. You know, the end goal, you know, is that these elites, Esau, Edom, the elites that run the world, they want everyone microchip, you know, and they're going to have to force this microchip before Yahweh Shai comes, all right, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. And this is why in Revelation 12 and 12, it says, the devil coming, he cometh down upon you having great wrath because he knoweth that he have but a short time, all right? Now, when you look at China, China is so far advanced that they're actually living this reality. All right. You got a lot of them, you know, well, over there in China is a lot of places where it's strictly cashless. All right. It's a cashless society. You know, they even paying with many different devices as um, far as uh, how to how to buy, how to trade, you know, how to sell. Um, they A lot of them is microchipped. You know, there's an article that came out a couple of months back about the Chinese uh, soldiers and how, you know, in their army, they're, they're chipping soldiers in their heads with like three chips, all right, so that they can control drones at the thought. You know, now people think all this stuff is uh, sci-fi and things of that nature, but it's not, it's reality, man. And why us brothers of the hopeful elect, you know, you know, why we always tie in these movies? You know, these movies play a big part because it shows these elites plans it shows their intentions it shows you know how they want this world to be ran you know you could look at the movie hunger games you know we are sheeple you know and they could do whatever they want with us you look at uh the older movie justin timberlake in time all right when it deals with thomas money all right um uh what's that kingsman when when their chips were amplified and they was doing crazy things like man there's so many movies out there all right and uh, I just want to go into uh, some scriptures dealing with devices because that's what this is about. It's devices. All right, devices. So let me play this video. <laughs> For decades, facial recognition has been the stuff of science fiction. But for many here in China, it's already becoming a part of daily life. 
Thanks to huge advances in artificial intelligence, people here can use their faces to log into mobile apps, access office buildings, and take money out of ATMs. At this KFC in Beijing, you can even use your face to get meal recommendations. Not all of the applications are so mundane. Police are also using the technology to shame jaywalkers and to scan crowds for persons of interest. A massive centralized database makes it possible for authorities and some private companies to identify nearly anyone by capturing their face. Access to these photos is a boon to companies like search giant Baidu, which is using them to build a range of products. These are a data set maintained by government. Basically, it means that for almost everyone who has the ID, for everyone over 18 years old, the, the, the government will have a, 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 your face in the database. Some worry this technology could lead to serious invasions of privacy and make it easier for authorities to track political dissidents. But others see it as a powerful tool for public safety. Not only helps you track criminals, it also helps find missing people. So it's good for the society. Facial recognition algorithms are growing exponentially faster and more powerful, thanks to a new technology called deep learning that allows computers to mimic the human brain's ability to learn. That means they can now compensate for problems like low light and bad angles. They can also adjust for age, making it possible to identify adults from their childhood pictures. So how does it work? Using complex algorithms, facial recognition systems start out by identifying all of the faces in a given image. For each face, the algorithm measures out key data points, like the distance between the eyes, or the color of the skin. They then use those measurements to create a template that can be compared against other templates in a facial database. The more data they have, the better these systems do. Hundreds of millions of social media users here upload photos every day under terms of service that basically allow tech companies to do what they want with the images. Add a vast network of surveillance cameras, and China has lots of data to feed its algorithms. There are 170 million surveillance... Yeah, all right, you know, I'm gonna leave a link. I'm gonna leave this link. You know, brothers, go watch this video, the full video. But for the sake of time, you know, you see it, man. I got another video. You know, this, it really gets in depth. Because this is uh, the mindset of these elites and how they want this place here at America. But China is is beating them to the punch. All right. So let me. Um, I want to. Um, All right, excuse me. Um, I want to play this video here because this is reality. This is not a movie. China is literally living this life. And next is the, you know, next is, is uh, going to be the force of the RFID microchip here in America. All right. So, you know, I typed in the search bracket, the search engine devices in the Bible, and uh, this is what comes up, all right, because these are many different devices, okay? Matter of fact, um, I want to look this word up. All right, and the word device, let's see, deviz, intent, desire, and express intent or desire. 
a plan or design, a literally composition. There is division, separation. That's right. All right. Now, this word device, you know, goes back to the 13th century that, you know, it was originally uh, meant division, separation. Okay. Disposition. Uh, let's see. Uh, arrange, plan. Method by which something is divided. I'm just skimming through. That's all. In the 14th century, artistic design, work of art, ornament. Let's see. Such as a large crossbow fitted with a crank. Crank. We have lived in the kind we have we lived in the kind of world and in an age of the world where devices of all sorts are growing in complexity, where therefore the necessity for alertness and self mastery and the control of device ever more urgent is ever more urgent. If we are Democrats, we know that especially perils beset us both because of the confusion of our aims and because it is easier for the mob than for in the, than for the individual to mistake appetite for reason and advantage for right all right so you know yeah device man it's in device which is really goes back to division separation but these devices that they created biometric facial recognition and things of this nature all right is um is all against you you know this is a way that they can number the people all right um they could play them they could play god uh what's that isaiah 14 chapter second thessalonians the second chapter all right it talks about how they want to sit in the seat of the most high all right so i just looked up the word devices in the search engine and it says Job 5 and 12 he disappointed disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. And that's the most high. All right. Because that's exactly what's going to happen. The Lord is going to. The Lord is going to. Interrupt. All right. And disappoint. Esau's enterprise. And, and this thing of. They're going to. Uh, chip everyone in the world. Because really what it boils down to is the chip. All right. It says he disappointed the devices of the crafty. So that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. This is Job 21, 27. Behold, I know your thoughts and devices which ye wrongfully imagine against me. All right. Uh, Psalms 10 and 2. The wicked in his pride do have persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. And the Lord is going to take you up in the devices that you have imagined. All right. Because, because uh, your wickedness is not going unpunished. All right. The Most High condemned David. He got on David when David wanted to number the people. You know, this this world don't belong to you Edomites. You can't steal the birthright from Jacob when Jacob supplanted you two times, and which it was really ordained by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, you don't have the kingdom of heaven. You are in your kingdom of heaven right now, but your kingdom of heaven is cut short. So it says, the wicked in his pride do have persecute the poor, all right? And who are the sons of the wicked? Esau. It says, let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. So in these devices that they have imagined, and their end goal is to chip everyone and to live in this biometric, facial recognition, Irish scanning world, this biometric world they want to turn it into, they want to play the most high. So the most high is going to play them, man, all right? That's why the scripture written in Job, he said he's going to get you when you are eating. You know, it says uh, Psalms 33 and 10. The Lord bringeth the counsel of the heathen to north. He maketh the devices of the people of none effect. <laughs> so the Lord is going to make, all right, this device in which they dream of, this utopia in which they dream of, all right, the world, you know, uh, them being the most high sitting on the throne. And they're being our God, you know, and you're going to rule forever and ever. 
Everyone's going to be microchipped. The Lord said he maketh the devices of the people of none effect. All right. And China looks like, you know, they're the new world. But they're going to be cut short. It says Psalms 37 and 7. It says, rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Frit not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way. Because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. So I just looked up the word devices, and these all scriptures, they go right along with the topic, man. <laughs> all praise to y'all about Shema Shai, man. I didn't know all these precepts was going to line up like this. It says, rest in the Lord, Yahweh, and wait patiently for him. Frit not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way. So China prospering in their biometrics. China's prospering in their RFID microchip, and they seem successful. They seem like they're, you know, their society is changed into a cashless society. You know, there was in the one interview where the Edomite went over there to learn of what's going on in China. And the people in China said America got to catch up. So just because they're prospering, it seems like they're living that lifestyle. You're going to be cut short. And that's why the scriptures, Revelation 12 and 12, when the scriptures say he calls of all. No, excuse me. I'm going to get that scripture too. Or maybe Lord, when we get it. The chip scripture, all right? But Revelation 12 and 12, the scriptures say he cometh down having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Esau has a short time. He has a short rule. And this place here in America, you're going to be forced to take the mark of the beast, man. So it says, because of that man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. It seemed like he's bringing these devices to pass. But this is the fulfillment of the prophecies, man. When I get the chip, I'm going to get the aftermath of receiving the chip. Because it has to come to pass. People have to get chipped. People have to take the mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip. And shame on you guys of the circumcision that's not teaching 100% truth. All right? If you can't see by these videos and what's the world turning into, you got the false prophet Nate Satan over there in IUIC. You know, it's June. Ain't no microchips. Well, it's June 2019, and there's many people that's microchipped in their brains. In their right arms, in their foot, in their back spinal cords, all over their bodies, man. Some of them got more than one chip. Okay? You guys that's teaching that the chip is not the mark of the beast, you guys are leading your congregation astray from the most high. All right? From your Shai. And you're going to get dealt with that, man. The people that's following you, they're going to take that chip because they believe in you and that you said it's not the mark of the beast. The mark of the beast is not an embargo. All right. It's not a, a sanction. OK, it's not Christianity and every other madness, crazy thing is Jake come up with, you know, and instead of just teaching the truth. You know, let's get the next one. Proverbs 1 and 31. Therefore, shall they eat the fruit of their own way. And be filled with their own devices. All right. <laughs> you know, Esau's gonna eat. He's gonna chip, he's gonna chip everyone. You got people in Sweden that's chipped. You got Australia, you got East India, China. We're just waiting, man. This we're waiting for Babylon the Great to get chipped. Proverbs 12 and 2. A good man. Obtain a favor of the Lord, but a man of wicked devices will he condemn. All right, so we are, we are of the good man, and we obtain the favor of the Lord. Lord's willing, we of the whole four elect, out teaching this truth, man, in season and out of season. But it says, but a, but a man of wicked devices will be condemned. So Esau, you will be condemned. Moab, you will be condemned. Proverbs fourteen seventeen. He that is so angry dealeth foolishly, and a man of wicked devices is hated. Yeah, the world is going to hate you, man. The world is hating you, Edomites, man. Okay? Dum, dum, <laughs> the world's going to hate you more, bites. It says, Proverbs 19 and 21. There are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord, Yahweh, that, that shall stand. Yeah, there's many devices in a man's heart. You think of any, all these type of gadgets and ways and these different uh, ways to climb up some other way. But it says, nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord, Yahweh, that shall stand. 
All right, so don't matter what these devils are thinking about or what they came together with the rest of the elites of the world, new world order, you know, you have the elites on the eastern part of the world, you have the elites on the western part of the world, all right, that control everything that goes on. They own all the businesses and social media and mainstream media, all right? It don't matter what they think, all right? It's the scriptures say, nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord Yahweh that shall stand. This is Isaiah 32 and 7. The instruments also of the tool are evil. He deviseth wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words, even when the needy speaketh right. All right. And we know that that meaning of the word chul means an impolite, spirited person. All right. An impolite, mean spirited person. All right. And that's Esau. That's the nature of these devils, man. They would never stop lying, man. I was watching Elder Apostle Tahar's video and um, you had that devil, uh, you know, talking about uh, Esau's Ishmael, you know, these devils would never stop lying, all right? Even when Yahweh shall return and put you Edomites into captivity, they're going to still say they're not the Edomites because they would never stop lying, all right? It says, Jeremiah 11 and 19, but I was like a lamb and an ox that is brought to the slaughter, and I knew not that they had devised devices against me. See, we know, all right? You know, this is the time that happened with Jeremiah and his people, okay? And, and his own people, just like Yahweh Shai, his own people, you so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, all right? Native Seminole Indians, man. Our people, two-thirds, man, are against the righteous of their own nation, man, all right? So Jeremiah is saying, but I was like a lamb uh, or an ox that is brought to the slaughter. And I knew not that they had devised devices against me, saying, let us destroy the tree with the fruit thereof and let us cut him off from the land of the living that his name may be no more remembered. And that's why you people hate us, because we out telling you the truth. We're warning you, man. You know, Jeremiah 18, 12. And they said, there is no hope, but we will walk after our own devices and we will and we will everyone do the imagination of his heart, of his evil heart. Excuse me. Let me read it again. And they said, there is no hope, but we will walk after our own devices and we will and we will everyone do the imaginations of his evil heart. So go ahead, man. Take that chip, man. Take that chip. All right. It says Jeremiah 18, 18. Uh, then said they come and let us devise devices against Jeremiah. All right. For the law shall not perish from the priest, nor counsel from the wise, nor the word from the prophet. Come and let us smite him with the tongue and let us not give heed to any of his words. Right. You know, that's that's basically it. That's the point. Oh, let me get this one. Um. And get this one right here. This is the last one. Second Corinthians 2 and 11. Least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices, man. We're not ignorant of Satan's devices. The Lord warned us in the scriptures of the prophecies that was going to come to pass. And, and come to pass right before the dreadful day, man. All right. The day that the Lord, Yahweh shall return with the angels to deliver the elect, to destroy the wicked. All right. To bring the heathens into captivity. Hmm. Let me get the scripture and I'll uh, let me get the got to get the scripture before I go. Revelations 13, 16. This is the year uh, Elder Apostle Tahar coined this year, 2019, the year of Karagma. This is Revelations 13, 16. And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell. Save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast. But it is the number of a man and his number is 603 score and six. All right. So when you go into that word mark, it goes into the Greek word karagma, which means brand pricked. OK, which is, uh, which is something uh, uh, incision up under the skin, a device. All right. And that's the RFID microchip. All right. So from there. Let me get the the uh, judgment for it. If you receive it, man, if you take it, this is Revelations 14 and 8. And there followed another angel saying Babylon is fallen, is fallen. 
that great city. Now that's America. Because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And you can see that while China is, China is in a rush to beat America. Okay? The Most High gave this earth to Esau, man. And what Esau did was that he pushed out his false philosophy, his religions, his democracy, his so-called way of life upon all these other nations. When you go to these different countries, their marketplace looks just like our, just look, looks looks just like uh, America's marketplace, man. All right, their building structures are all the same. Okay, whenever these elite, whenever the elites of these different countries come to the round table to see Esau, they all dressed in what suits? They they dressed in suits and ties and their apparel, man. All right, and Esau's apparel. It says, and they followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen and is fallen, that great city. Because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. All right. Homosexuality. You name it, man. Uh, verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into a cup, into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So you're going to be destroyed, man. Okay? You're going to be destroyed. All of you all of you people that take the chip here in Babylon, you're going to be destroyed by the way of thermonuclear fire, man. Alright? So, you know, I hope this lesson was edifying. You know, this, uh, this video, man. This, uh... This video here shows you the reality, the reality in which Moab is living, okay? And this is the same reality that they want to have here in America, man, Babylon. But the end goal is that you will be microchip, man, all right? So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rakakwadash, I like to get double honest to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hope for elect. Shalom.